Topic 10, Application of Differentiation, 10.1, Extreme Problems, Lecture 2 of 4. At the end of this topic, students should be able to find the relative extreme using the first derivative test. Let y is equal to fx and the relative maximum point is at c fc. So this is the curve for the relative maximum point. At point C, FC, dy over dx is equal to 0. When x less than C, dy over dx is greater than 0. And the y is increased. When x is greater than c, dy over dx is less than 0 and y is decreased. That means when x is less than c, the dy dx is positive. And when x is equal to c, dy dx is equal to 0. And when x is greater than c, dy dx is negative. For the relative minimum point c, fc, dy over dx is equal to 0 when x is equal to c. When x is less than c, dy dx is less than 0 and y is decrease. When x is greater than c, dy over dx is greater than 0 and y is increase. That means when x less than c, dy over dx is negative. And when x is equal to c, dy over dx is equal to 0 and positive for the x greater than c. First derivative test. When we substitute x less than c into the f prime and the answer is a positive number, then the value of y is increased. When we substitute x equal to c into the f prime, x and the answer is a 0 so the value of y is a constant and when we substitute x greater than c into the f prime x and the answer is a negative number so the value of y is decreased so we have a maximum graph with the c f c as a maximum point when we substitute the x less than c into the f prime x and the answer is a negative number then the value of y is decreased. When we substitute x equal to c into the f prime x and the answer is a 0, then the value of y is a constant. And when we substitute x greater than c into the f prime x and the answer is a positive number, so the value of y is increased. So we have a minimum graph with c f c as a minimum point. Therefore, when we substitute x less than c and when we substitute x greater than c into the f prime and we have the same sign, that means c f c is point of inflection. Example 1. Find the extremum points for y is equal to x cubed minus 3x square plus 6 by using first derivative test. First, we are going to find the stationary points. So we have to differentiate 
the function y. y is equal to x cubed minus 3x square plus 6. So the dy over dx is equal to 3x square minus 6x. Let the dy over dx equal to 0. So 3x square minus 6x is equal to 0. Factorize the dy over dx. So we have 3x times in the bracket x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we have two factors. For the first factor, 3x is equal to 0, x is equal to 0. And for the second factor, x minus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 to the power of 3 minus 3 times 0 square plus 6 is equal to 6. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2 cubed minus 3 times 2 square plus 6 is equal to 2. So we have two stationary points. The stationary points are zero six and two two. Now we are going to determine the maximum and minimum points. When x is equal to 0, we divided the real number lines into two parts. The left side is for x less than 0 and for the right side is for the x greater than 0. Draw the table. Okay, here is for the x less than 0. x is equal to 0 and x greater than 0. Take the test value of x. For the x less than 0, we take x is equal to negative 1. And for x greater than 0, we take x is equal to 1. Substitute the test value of x into the dy over dx. When we substitute x equal to negative 1 into the dy over dx, the answer is a positive number. When we substitute x equal to 0 into the dy over dx, the answer is 0. And when we substitute x equal to 1 into the dy over dx, the answer is a negative number. When the dy over dx is a positive number, that means the value of y is increased. When the dy over dx is equal to 0, the value of y is a constant. And when dy over dx is a negative number, the value of y is decrease. So we have the 
maximum point. So, zero six is a relative. Maximum point. When x is equal to 2, we divide the real number lines into the two parts. For the left side, is for x less than 2. And for the right side, is for the x greater than 2. Draw the table. x less than 2. x is equal to 2 and for x greater than 2. Take the test value of x. For the x less than 2, we take x is equal to 1. And for the x greater than 2, we take x is equal to 3. Substitute the test value of x into the dy over dx. When we substitute x equal to 1 into the dy over dx, the answer is a negative number. When we substitute x equal to 2 into the dy over dx, the answer is 0. And when we substitute x equal to 3 into the dy over dx, the answer is a positive number. When dy over dx is a negative number, the value of y is decreased. When dy over dx is a 0, the value of y is a constant. And when dy over dx is a positive number, the value of y is increased. So we have the minimum point. So the point 2, 2 is a relative minimum point.